Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rathin Dutta. Today we will be studying about the equivalent springs and the equivalent dampers. In case of equivalent uh, dampers or equivalent springs, what we see is the two connection. One is the series connection, another is the uh, parallel connection. In case of series connection, what happens is that the equivalent deflection is equal to the combination of the uh, deflection of both the springs uh, in a uh, spring mass damper to understand it in a better way suppose in a spring mass damper system or simply consider a spring mass system there are two springs suppose with a stif stiffness k1 and k2 and attached to a mass small m what will happen each of the spring will have its own deflection suppose the spring with uh, stiffness k1 has a deflection delta 1 and spring with stiffness k2 has a deflection delta 2 so the equivalent deflection will be equal to delta equal to delta 1 plus delta 2 so the delta equal to delta 1 plus delta 2 the delta 1 being the deflection of the first spring and the delta 2 being the deflection of the second spring so using this equivalent deflection we can find the uh, expression of k that is the stiffness in case of series connection we will see it in the derivation coming to our uh, damper we will use the same concept for the series connection that we used for the uh, springs in series now coming to our parallel connection of spring what we will do we will divide the mass mg into m1g plus m2g there in the previous case it was equivalent deflection in this case it will be equivalent load the simple mass mg that is the mass that we have considered will be divided into m1g plus m2g m2g okay so uh, taking the formula of uh, that is the stiffness that is the load per unit deflection we will again find the expression of stiffness in case of parallel connection in springs using the same concept we will be finding the expression for damper let's see the derivation how we do it yes guys this is the thing we are talking about the equivalent springs and the equivalent damper so if we can actually understand this concept of equivalent spring whether series and parallel we can directly apply it to here the damper okay damper as you know it is used to absorb the energy or dissipate the energy okay and spring you used for uh, the retracting uh, purpose in the uh, spring mass damper system right so if we consider this uh, this spring and mass system you can see it is k1 and k2 uh, do two different spring with two different stiffness so it has been equi make, made equivalent into this thing that is keq so the thing is that we have to find this keq that is the uh, equivalent uh, stiffness of the spring okay so it has been the total sp uh, what should i say the total um, so stiffness of the spring right so what we what we have actually understood we have actually written that delta equivalent will be equal to delta 1 plus delta 2 for series right yeah so what will happen we know that uh, stiffness is defined by load by uh, load by deflection right so using this thing what we what we can write actually we can write mg okay mg into uh, sorry mg by keq it will be since they are holding the same mass it is not different mass so in each case the load will be same for each of the spring mg by it's it is having its own stiffness k1 then mg by 2 because it is actually say again holding the same mass m so the numerator of all the parts will be mg 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 and there will be respective uh, stiffness there. delta 1 k1 delta 2 k2 so by removing the mg in the numerator the equation will become 1 into k equivalent is equal to 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 are you getting my point yes so uh, using uh, this thing we can actually say for the equivalence uh, spring in series connection the 1 by k equivalent will be equal to 1 plus k by k, k1 plus 1 by k2 so using the same concept for damper we can directly write it here as 1 by c eq equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 where c1 is nothing but a damping coefficient right 
yeah it is damping coefficient as you know and c2 of the first damper and c2 of the second damper right and ceq is the as you know ceq is the equivalent damping coefficient yeah so coming to our uh, parallel uh, spring arrangement as you can see uh, there are two different uh, that is k1 and k2 but there what we have done we have divided the mass into two two parts means mg is equal to m1g plus m2g are you getting my point okay so what will happen if you are seeing this uh, it means in this case what we have done we have taken delta equal to delta 1 plus delta 2 but in this case what we have done we have taken m1 m1g equal to m2g so using the same formula uh, k is equal to mg by load by deflection so uh, what will be it? it will be k equivalent since mg is the total mass so it will be k equivalent into delta okay and uh, since uh, uh, it is in parallel connection it has its own delta it has its own delta but both the deflection of the spring will be same since it is in parallel connection so what will happen it will be delta equivalent is equal to delta 1 is equal to delta 2 okay are you getting my point we have to use this so k equivalent into delta it will be what it will be uh, k1 into delta 1 okay it will be k2 into delta 2 since all the delta are same delta is nothing but the deflection right so k equivalent will be equal to delta 1 plus delta 2 for your parallel connection right yeah so for your parallel connection this k equivalent equal to delta 1 plus delta 2 for your yeah for your series connection it will be 1 by k equivalent equal to 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 so putting the same concept for the damping it will be c equivalent equal to c1 plus c2 okay for the damping in parallel connection i hope you get the concept of this uh, equivalent spring and equivalent damper in both the series and parallel connection and again thank you so much for liking sharing my content and subscribing me keep doing so because it really really motivates me keep coming to the channel i hope you are enjoying my channel so thank you so much bye bye